Okay. Let's test this mic. Can you still hear me when I speak? Or is it very, very um, low? Hope not. Great. Last stop, Victoria and Albert Museum. Um, I am here on a Friday because on Fridays they close at 10 p.m. So they do a late uh, closing. So it's nice to kind of see the museum as well at night. Um, and the last Friday of the month, they tend to have a DJ. So it's a bit of a party in the atrium, which is kind of fun. Um, today, I just saw some choral people going through. So actually looking like priests, but I could with the music sheets. So I don't know. We'll see. Maybe there's some music going on tonight. Should be interesting, but yeah, let's check it out. There is a VNA late today. That's what they called on Fridays. Um, and yeah, so I don't know. There's some music stand. Well, don't know if it's a DJ music stand, but it's kind of cool going on here. So there's someone performing at like 6:30. So I'm just going to take a walk around uh, until they come through. time I enter this room I feel like I've entered the Catholic Church it's like <laughs> everything is you know yeah all the symbolisms and all of them are there and I don't know sometimes it's calming sometimes it's jarring but it's also interesting to see how much stuff is there but also like how much stuff people are making I mean I guess Gongela TV <laughs> or radio and stuff so this is like you know the stuff that people like that occupied the minds um, there's so much craftsmanship that goes into this right because when you think about like museums it always is about the stuff that's there but actually someone has to make that stuff someone has to take time I mean look at this it's like wooden woodwork intricacies in that it's kind of cool right so like that there's like benches that you can kind of chill on and you know have the headphones info on what's happening in the room um, that's kind of cool as you can tell I'm very big on places where you can also sit down because <laughs> I don't like you know the thing of like having to be up all the time or like hamba hamba as if you know what I mean like yeah okay walk but then have places to rest the rest of it and gather yourself and actually take in what you're seeing you know so now we're in, in the space that looks like a confessional <laughs> box so if you have any confessions in the comment section please Thank you. Why are they do homie like that though? I mean, is this true to form, true to life? But you see what I mean? Like, a giant statue, giant painting. So much like craftsmanship is going into this, right? So I'm so gassed by this. Look at this. The goats. It's a reader. I love it. Can you make a bit more?
chest. That's what I keep saying. Look at this, my museum. It's really one big arts and craft project. It's just a collection of arts and crafts, but yeah, good deal. Oh, can you hear that? Let's follow the sound. I told you they were singing. I told you they were singing. Started playing. The beats are now zirin zirin, um, and the choir is finished. Although it overlapped with the choir, I'm not sure why, because it really didn't need to be like that. Um, they really just given like the choir an extra five minutes to finish up, but they were literally playing over them. And even worse, it wasn't because like the sounds, the verses, you know. I don't know, but anyway, uh, come to the territory, I suppose. So here we are. I'm gonna take a peek around a bit more, and then check out the DJ stuff. Because I'm sure it will be playing throughout the whole museum. I guess that's the whole point: is that you're supposed to be watching art, like looking at art and catching a vibe. So they're selling wine, you know, snacks, whatever can do that, get some wine, get some snacks, get your drink on while in the museum on a Friday night. Um, so I'm going to check that out, check a couple of rooms out and then go home. Today was actually meant to be an early day. <laughs> I thought I would come here, you know, go around, blah blah blah, it's going to be snap snap finished but yeah. Um, although I'm very pleasantly surprised by the choir wasn't expecting that so yeah awesome
already struggle with wearing a heel, let alone a heelless shoe. Yang koko men, all time. Guys, this kwang is at malapang is ngana. Like, hail to the no, hail to the no. These are like baby heelless shoe. They actually say baby heelless shoe, which I'm not wearing that. Honestly, like that is just torture for Mdana. It's already hard enough for kids to wear shoes, let alone a heelless shoe. Whenever I come to the VNA, I always come to the Japanese uh, section uh, because of the samurai section where like there's samurai suits and then there are the samurai swords and I absolutely love this section. I think because it's like it's always great inspiration for me. Um, there's been a, a script that I've been writing and yeah um, it's basically a fighter and she's using a sword and every time i come here it gives me just more and more inspiration especially because of the details uh with the suits the detail with the swords the detail and how the swords get made it's incredible i absolutely love it um so yeah i always come here every time i always come to this room every time and it's like i don't know not like i sometimes i see something new but sometimes it's just why not? Why not come and see these? What's inspiring is that a lot of the time, right, you look at things and you just see a sword, but this shows you that there's so much more to a sword. It's not just, you know, a thing that just slices and dices, you know? There's like little bits and pieces that make up the sword that you can personalize, that you can, yeah, just create that thing where it kind of takes um, create that thing where it takes your project to like the other side where every little detail is thought out you know attention to detail so I come here to kind of like give me that push give me that drive that like yeah um, there's so much you can create a world basically um, and this helps in terms of like giving me ideas, giving me like information um, and yeah, we can then kind of like tailor it to how it is that you want to tell a story but definitely heavily, heavily, heavily inspired by uh, the section. I think I've always, I think it's been here for I don't know how many years but I always come here. This actually reminds me of someone on Twitter the other day was, it was asking where you can buy a sword in Bulawayo. <laughs> And yeah, if they find out where, you, if you find out where you can buy a sword in Blaya, please tell me. Go alam nya iphone. Okay, as you can hear, we are stepping closer and closer to the DJ, the party section. Um, this actually reminds me of like a prodigy, like so soon we're like, I'm a fire starter. <laughs> like this is paratuwa. But yeah. It's interesting I think to kind of look at the museum when it's like this I think I've only been here when there was this uh, Friday night thing once I don't remember doing it again so it's quite a, it's quite nice to kind of come through and find it and I'm not sure as well why it's today it's usually the last Friday of the month so I'm quite pleasantly surprised because um, when I was doing this I wasn't sure whether to come next week just to catch this but I guess it's caught me. These are the visuals. They're on the roof. It's kind of cool, right?
So you see what I mean by like a gift shop. So this is probably one of the biggest gift shops um, in terms of Fama museums. And there is like everything. I mean, right now they even have like Fama baubles uh, for Christmas. And it's like, it's not even Christmas yet. So some of them are like, you know, five pounds, six pounds. But it's like, if you buy this, just buy one for like six pounds, add it to your Christmas tree and just say, that's one of the things that you bought at the v &A, right? I mean, look at that. It's so cute. I like the flower at the top. I love them. But you see what I mean? Like, this. How much is this? Doesn't have a price. Uh, oh, that's six pounds as well. So that's six pounds. All right, look at that. Six pounds. I mean, all someone has to do is just buy one, right? And it's like, it's, where are we now? September and they have Christmas decorations already you know preparation but also then all it needs is just for someone just buy one so can you imagine if you had a lot of these but like decorated like by you know I want to at the village Elupan and then you're selling these me I have business ideas guys I don't know why I'm poor because yeah well honestly you know it's such great craftsmanship and you just need some things like this simple things like this right that's it it's about the packaging so right now this is english breakfast tea and that's like 10 bucks whereas normally tea is like maybe what two pounds in the shops so which means that actually it's more like you're buying it as an agreement about saying that the can basically is the most valuable thing just to say like oh yeah i bought it at the v &A, right so you have a v &A experience you go to the gift shop you get something i mean this is a tea towel i mean you know what i mean like it's like it's easy things like a tea towel is eight pound fifty helps your uncle right it's a nice little gift as well i think great print Oh, they have it in blue as well. What do you think? See these pencils. Look at that. It's like so many different designs, and they're like you know two pound fifty, right? That's it. The pencil and just designs, yeah, two pound fifty. And then you've got like oh, it's a whole array of them. Look at how nice they look. And then you've got like notebooks. You've got you know bookmarks. My favorite thing to buy in a gallery is bookmarks because they are you know affordable so this one is like a pound 75 so you can buy a nice bookmark great gifts as well um, and then these are like blank cards with envelopes so you can like send when you send like flowers or you know send me flowers when you send flowers or like when you send a gift or when you've got like a christmas gift or like a birthday gift especially right you've got these and they are four pound fifty right so it's affordable nice gifting um, and what else is there but it's like really really like different range of like prices right because I mean these look at these right They're so cute so soft from matte velvet they are so so soft i wish you could like feel them but they're like 135 so that's on the upper end i think and then you can get like these prints what is this print oh okay so that's affordable that's about 15 pounds that's what like a print and then you can you know put that up on your wall and that's what i wanted as well after that zanele um holy exhibition i would have wanted like to get a print that i can just put up so i ended up buying i think the it's like a did I, no i didn't buy it actually it was the thing that you got given like as a newspaper or something like as, as a thing for you walking around the exhibition i think I, I ended up doing that and then just trying to frame that but i would have liked like a proper print that she would have you know um been getting a bit of money from rather than something that was free but i mean the prints are really lovely Look at that. Oh. No, 24 pounds. 
so that's the thing, it's like there's such a range, right? So you can buy a bookmark for £1.75 and you can buy a print for like £25 or you can buy a bubble for your Christmas tree for like £6. It's like, there's such a range and I think it's such a big, you know, marketing thing. Incredible, which is great. So we need more of that, please. One design, you've got a tote bag. The other, you've got a t-shirt. Um, the t-shirt is £35. Tote tote bag is 18 pounds so one of the things that i bought actually at the royal college of music was a postcard because it's one of my favorite things to buy so either a bookmark or a postcard and here they do uh any five postcards for three pounds you know which is doable that's postcards that you can either put up on a wall that you can frame put up on a wall as prints or postcards that you can actually send to people i used to do that i used to send postcards to people but then uh, you know, it's mob and mail stopped, you know, going. Can you hear that beep? People buying. You know, we let man man ma lo machine ya kuluma. Beep. Another item. Another item. Guys, we've got another item. Why are we sleeping like this? Why? Please, Buganin, Buganin. Can you wake up, please? Thank you. I'm a Nicki Minaj. <laughs>